Sally Moss, Scobie Breezley Up, was favourite as the world's ten best horses paraded at Laurel Park before the great international race. Clem, America, was ridden by Willie Shoemaker. Bill Harmatas was up on Judah Era, reckoned by many the best horse in the States. 40,000 jammed the Maryland track. Ten ran and right from the start, Tudor Era led the field. It was a mile and a half race run on grass. Value to the winner, 25,000 pounds in our money. Though Ballymoss started at odds of about 11 to 10, his trainer, Vincent O'Brien, was less optimistic. He believed it was far from the ideal course for the wonder horse from Ireland. Still, there was a long way to go yet. Tudor Era was still in front. The large contingent of racegoers with Irish sympathies at Laurel Park had put their shirt on Bally Moss, undeterred by the fact that no favourite has ever won the Washington International. Tudor Era ran with pace and style, fully justifying his great reputation. He was bred in England and sold to an American owner two years ago. Not clearly visible from the grandstand came the alleged fouls which Jockey Grant charged Tudor Era's rider with committing against Sailor's Guide. Hereabouts, Toby Breasley, on the right of the picture, made his effort and took Ballymoss into the running. At this stage, it was easily possible that the Irish horse might pass the rest of the field. In the home stretch for the second time, Tudor Era way out in front, Ballymoss going well on the outside. But now nothing could catch Tudor Era. He went to the post three and a half lengths in front. Now came a sensation. Jockey Harmatez was the unhappiest man in the world when to his dismay, to say nothing of Tudor Era's backers, he was deprived of the race and put back to second place for fouling Sailor's Guide. Ballymoss was third. Thank you.